Hey guys, what's up? I stack the trend here from One Hive Gazette here with my next video, and I'm recapping the war against Reddit mutiny. A uh, great war to both sides. It's been, uh, I think, a few days since it happened, just because I had to hop on over for a scrimmage in One Hive between the family of clans. But I'm back in the in Genesis to recap this war, and let's take a look at it. It wasn't terribly close. We did a great job. Um, you can see they got uh, all the tens to start except Triggerman two. And then they got the nines and, well, actually not the nines, been a little while, but no, I think they left quite a few nines open. Uh, so good job to our nines with the bases. You know, I put out Town Hall 9 base building, base building videos all the time because uh, a lot of people say, you know, it's dead, no point spending time on a base, but it can work. And uh, you kind of get, sometimes at least you uh, get out what you put into it. So uh, keep building those Town Hall 9 bases. I'll keep helping you guys with some of these videos. Anyway, what we did is uh, we did leave the top Town Hall 10 one-starred, uh, but we got uh, everything below three-starred uh, plus a Town Hall 10 three-star, which we'll take a look at. Um, so just a great job. Uh, all the Town Hall 9s uh, did a good job, and we got some good scouts up there to help out our Town Hall 10s. And uh, one of those uh, produced a Town Hall 10 three-star, uh, Megan Mo Money, taken on four, and kind of an under-upgraded Town Hall 10 base, like a new Town Hall 10, but... Has the Inferno Towers, decent level heroes, so still difficult to three star. Um, Megan drops down a giant just to get the Sea Sealer, drops a wizard to create the funnel for the Queen Walk. Um, out comes the Lava Hound, a few archers, uh, nothing too major. The uh, Queen can deal with that on her own, especially with no other defenses on her right there. I like the Barb just to help out with the Archer because the Queen's going to be on that Hound for a while. So good use of the Barb there. Um, Drop down a few minions to create the funnel on the other side. Going to push the queen on into the base in just a moment. So I uh, assume that Lava Hound busts. Has a, another minion to help the healers out. Just speed it up a little bit more. Uh, don't make the queen, you know, shoot down every one of those pups. That's always good if you can do it. Um, in come the wall breakers with a giant to tank for them. Uh, the queen's going to make her way through in just a moment. Uh, quite a few point defense are going to get on her, but has the rage to keep her up. So no big deal there. Uh, you can see right here she'll get a little bit low, but has the rage uh, once these point defense are locked on to her in just a moment. But the minions did a great job creating the funnel, and she's just going to walk her way into the base here. Um, as soon as that wizard tower goes down, there goes the rage. She's entering the base. Everything's going good. Uh, has access to a few air defenses plus the inferno tower. Um, going to drop down that jump in just a moment, I believe, uh, by that wizard tower to let the king in. Uh, the king is going to go for the Inferno, and he'll also help out on the enemy queen, so all good there. Uh, that one air defense does take out a few healers, but um, I believe the queen will step up right here, get that air defense down, uh, so only lost like one healer to it. The Inferno is on the queen, but pops the ability. Uh, she takes out the defensive queen right here, and uh, the king is going to make his way on in. Just because the only the level 1 Inferno is locked onto the queen, that does almost no damage to her, so... Um, the king actually ends up tanking, and therefore the queen does not go down, because as soon as that inferno goes down, she's getting healed back up. So still has both heroes at solid health, doing some tanking for the expo, uh, the healer's doing the work, and then here come the lava hounds making their way in, comes in strong with like three lava hounds, knows there's a tesla farm there, so she has to uh, put all those lava hounds down at once to get all the tanking there, because they do uh, bust, and I think two and a half of them are basically dead, as in two popped and one's at half health. It has the nice freeze there. Um, that last Lava Hound goes over, tanks for a few more traps, but by the time it goes down, the balloons under rage are closing in, just smothers the last of these defenses, and uh, just wrecks this base. So awesome attack to Megan Mo Money. Ton of balloons left up, uh, just insane. Still has the, the king, barely, but has the king. Uh, that little bomb didn't even kill him either. And the queen has a haste spell, uh, which goes ahead and drops, uh, but crush this base. Awesome attack to Megan. Alright, we're going to take a look at a few Town Hall 9s and a few Town Hall 8s because there actually were some 8s in this war, which is kind of cool because we don't see that that much. But um, first we're going to take a look at yep, 8. 007 uh, coming in here with a nice interesting attack. Wanted to show you guys something a little bit different because obviously there's all kinds of attacks right now. Um, at Town Hall 9, it seems like Valks and Dragons are what's working right now, but you still see stuff all across the board. Um, and this one was a cool uh, 20 balloon attack 
No Lava Hounds, just coming in strong with the Queen, knows she can access basically all of those air defenses, and then has the King to take out the enemy Queen uh, at the bottom when he needs it. Uh, but drops down the jump, didn't use the wall breakers because that compartment set back a little bit, but the jump works fine as long as you funnel the queen in. Um, she can be a little bit, a little picky about when she takes the jumps, but in this case there was nowhere else for her to go. Drops the rage, that's going to help the queen take out that air defense, which is uh, locked onto the healers, and then drops a hog, nice little cheeky hog there on that cannon, uh, gets it taken out, just a one for one trade, a little bit of point defense off the queen, always good there. Uh, the queen's going to step up, take out that air defense. So two air defenses down, that third one uh, will be going soon, and the fourth one soon after that. I like how the CC didn't come out until uh, the king, or the golem aggroed it, so not going to be an issue there, because the king and the golem aren't going to worry about it. Uh, so the king goes in uh, with the poison, takes out the enemy queen, all good there, and that last air defense will go down in just a moment, and then it'll be time for the balloons. Uh, so yep, last air defense right there goes down. Um, has the poison for the Skellies and the King, so worked out nicely there. And then just has way too many balloons to be honest, uh, just overpowered this base. Uh, 20 balloons just going to wreck this base, especially when they're stuck on the Queen and the uh, King. Nothing's even targeting the balloons besides a few Teslas and stuff, so uh, didn't even need all the troop space, didn't even need that rage. Uh, just destroyed this base, awesome attack. Um, we'll fast forward because it does take a little while, but spreads out these balloons nicely, and I love watching balloons do clean up. Just a fun thing to watch. Awesome attack to 007. All right, just got to get these last few at the bottom here. Then we'll take a look at a lower level Town Hall 9 because uh, those are interesting to watch, and it's kind of um, a unique game down there because it's a little bit different than higher level Town Hall 10. Or sorry, higher level Town Hall 9 like you just saw there. All the way down to 32. Um, and I, I'm not gonna, I'm only showing two Town Hall 9s just because we see them so much just in every other video, it seems like. So when I show some 8s, and uh, when I can, I'll show some 10s and 11s. Anyway though, Jay's clone taking on 32, dropping down a few golems, just a tank. You can see has seven Valks, so quite a big kill squad, and then 14 balloons there. Kind of an interesting attack, so I thought I'd show it. Because um, obviously, you know, the main attacks, you see your hog attacks and dragons in Valks, which um, have become a lot more popular lately. But this one, typically you don't see a Govalo with balloons in Valks, but this guy happened to put all the air, air defenses conveniently in that core. Plus, the queen is going to jump over. Actually, I think the wall was opened up anyway, but yeah, the queen will jump, doesn't matter. Uh, either way, it works. Uh, Dragon goes down from the CC. Everything's making its way forward. These Valks can just roam through this entire core. Uh, that one balloon is doing a little bit of work on the golems. I guess just kind of unlucky there. Nothing ever got targeted onto it. The queen, wizards, or anything like that. So, uh, no big deal though. In come the balloons. It does have that one Lava Hound to tank, and that max Lava Hound is not going to be... Uh, not going to be hurt too bad by the air defense. Luckily it didn't hit any traps. It looks like the balloon hit one of the air mines, but not the lava hound. So it stays up the entire time. The air defense gets no shots off on balloons. And then from here comes in with a rage and a few more balloons at the bottom. These Teslas are kind of melting the balloons, but uh, you can see right here, pops the queen's ability. She'll take out the CC balloon. Um, or actually doesn't use the ability, but that lava hound is tanking. So uh, it's going to soak up a few of those Tesla shots. Plus the queen coming in is going to help out and uh, it gets a little bit close towards the end, but has that one wizard started for cleanup, that was huge, because it does get a little bit low on time, that Lava Hound busts, will go times two, because these balloons kind of make their way over, just floating along, it's hard to believe it's times two, because they move so slowly, um, take out that last Tesla, and luckily that king can't do anything to them, uh, the pups are helping for cleanup, and it is going to take a while, but everything does go down eventually, uh, that one DE storage kind of is an issue there, uh, but luckily had enough time to get the job done. So awesome attack to Jay's clone. Fun thing to watch, and I uh, thought it might be something a little bit different to show on the channel. All right, um, two Town Hall 8s, then we'll wrap this up. Um, I think all the Town Hall 8s were hog attacks, so um, not a whole lot of diversity at Town Hall 8 right now. We do see Valks every once in a while, and, you know, Dragloon, but hogs are still king at Town Hall 8, and it should continue to be that way, my guess, in the future. Uh, right here, just gets a C sealer. Missed how he got it, but lures out the C C. Is there a hole in the base there? Oh yeah, this was the base with the hole. Yeah, 
I think so. I missed the beginning. Yeah, that's a whole three by three. Yeah, that's a whole. Anyway, uh, so easy C sealer, uh, kind of a bad job by Z from Reddit Mutiny. Uh, got to got to watch for those holes. Maybe have your your uh, clan mates check it or something. Uh, Cause easy kill right here. I love the minions. W wants to save a poison spell for the king or the skelly traps or whatever. So just drops down the one poison, then a few minions gets the job done. Uh, very easy there. Comes in with a few hogs now. Just looking for double giant bombs. Wants to get in there by that air defense because there's not a whole lot of damage in the core. So these hogs will trigger whatever is in there. Uh, spring trap does send a few flying, but right here. Uh, they get that air defense taken out. Now, they don't really path over the possible spot, but it's been negated anyway because the defense is gone, so hogs will never go near there again. Um, another potential spot being uh, tripped, just single bo or just little bombs, so uh, continues to work its way around the base. There's not a whole lot of damage in any one part, so it doesn't have to you know, group up his hogs too much. Comes in here, reinforces the hogs, only a single bomb there, uh, so they're still up uh, under heal. Has two heals not even deployed yet, plus the CC hogs, which he still hasn't deployed either. But these hogs are making their way around the base, and uh, right here they go to that sweeper. Then they're going to go over to that wizard tower, uh, where the last possible spot was, but there's nothing there. And then I think the last... Oh, I th okay, ne never mind. The DGB was uh, by the CC in the uh, center of the base. So did a nice job avoiding it there, and then drops down the poison, I think... Or no, just swags the poison. <laughs> I thought he dropped the poison, but no. Had it if he needed it, but didn't, so. Anyway, uh, good three-star here by Robbie. I'll fast forward as these last few wizards and hogs and stuff take it out. There goes the double set, but by this time it's too late. Um, so nice attack, and uh, don't leave the holes in your base. That helps out the attacker a little bit too much, uh, but still a good attack either way. All right, last one is Mesoscale Vortex. Um, had a six-star war, so awesome job. And uh, check it out, all hogs. Um, I, I mean, the only thing in a Town Hall 8 base that has to necessarily be uh, neutralized is the, is the CC troops. Obviously, double giant bomb spots, but the hogs can do that. And then it has two poisons, so uh, that'll be plenty to deal with the CC troops. Right here, I think most of them get in that first poison. Um, and then that one potential spot is tripped up right there. Uh, this is a cleanup attack, I believe. Otherwise, he wouldn't have risked it because there could have been, you know, a Pekka or something in there. Um, which still does go down to a double poison. So actually, I forget if this is a cleanup attack or not. I think it is, but I'm not sure. Uh, so drops down the king. Good use of the king is always a tank for a few point defense before you send your hogs in because um, he can do cleanup and tanking that way as opposed to just doing cleanup if you drop him at the end. Uh, also, king swap is good if you can, but the king's too deep in this space to do anything. That one hog triggered the double or the giant bomb, which was great. Here's the Tesla farm, so the hogs are under heal for that. Last uh, giant bomb goes off right there, and the hogs are momentarily at low health, but the heal brings them back up. And then right here has the heal up top. Everything's moving through. Um, love the poison on the king. Sometimes people just don't drop the poison late, and you don't notice it until it screws up the attack. So. Always want to drop that poison if you have it left over, unlike the king, if he's still up or something. Uh, whether you're Town Hall 8, Town Hall 9, or whatever, it's a good idea, a good habit to get into. Uh, we'll fast forward as this one is a 3 star, and uh, awesome job to Meso Scale Vortex getting the 3 star and uh, taking out base number 36. Hope you guys enjoyed the war though. Um, good job to Reddit Mutiny. They did struggle with their bases, but uh, we've had bad wars too, so hopefully we'll, you know, play them again, get matched up with them again and uh, have another good war because this was a fun one awesome job to all of one hive genesis and uh hopefully we can get back on track because uh, we did have a hiccup earlier uh, last week but i think we're back to the three star game so uh yeah that's gonna do it for this video though should see some more content coming out tomorrow so stay tuned and i'll see you guys later bye sectatron out